All right, we are back, back, back in Daddy's Kitchen. How are you today, Dad? You're wonderful. Yes, I am. I'm feeling the same way. I'm feeling the same way. All right, this episode is an episode that a lot of people have been asking for okay everybody has been asking for this and i'm so happy that we are finally finally doing it daddy tell the people them where we are cooked today start my queer run dong run dong run down no. okay <laughs> Run down. Okay. <laughs> daddy, that's such a weirdo. <laughs> okay. So, Daddy, what is run down? Run down, you cook your, your salt mackerel. Salt mackerel. In coconut. In coconut in milk. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So, run down is like a really, really popular Jamaican dish, no? Yes. Um, I mean, I've, I've enjoyed eating this since I was young. Uh, but there's a lot of people who are vegetarians or pescatarians and they've been like listen we are we're here for all the meat tutorials but we need the rundown tutorial so here it is today guys okay. this mackerel is salt very salty just like this fish so you got to cook it out okay first all right i have some water you're boiling let's drop it right in the boiling water oh wow just like right that So it's very salty. Yes. So how many so times are you gonna? I could cook this up two times, but I need to have it in cold water, sitting in cold water. Okay. So, so that helps. Cook, yes. So I, that's, I'm gonna cook it off one time. Okay, because okay. the cold water kind of substitutes for yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So if you're gonna cook this tomorrow, mm -hmm. you can soak it in cold water overnight. Okay. And that really way, you, and that way, you would only have to boil it off one time. Yeah, or maybe not. Or maybe yeah, none at because all. Because the cold water take away the salt. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm gonna let this cook at least ten to fifteen minutes. Ten to fifteen minutes. Okay. Yes. Then I let it cool, and I can break it down. Okay. Okay. So what's so, next? Oh well, yeah, now we're gonna prepare the ingredients for it. Okay. We need tomatoes. I already washed all of these. Uh, red pepper, yellow pepper, green pepper, thyme, onions, green scallion, scotch bunny pepper, and garlic. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna cut up these. Okay. First. But the coconut. You got to do the coconut after. Okay. <laughs> We're following your lead, Daddy. We're following your lead. Garlic. Nice flavor. Lots of flavor. You know I'm here for the flavor. Red, green, and yellow. Our favorite colors. Time. Time. Okay. Small. Okay. Just run down. We're gonna cook. 
and you want you kind of want them to still be there. Yes. Okay. All of mercy. You know what I go ahead. <laughs> I know. I'm yeah, learning. Man. I'm learning. Don't do me like that. I'm learning. I'm hearing. Okay. I'm hearing. It's gonna be really hard sometimes for daddy because daddy always washes the dishes right when he's done with them so sometimes <laughs> i'm like it's not the time we're filming like it's not the time <laughs> it's hard for him to learn to relearn that i guess for filming but we do it for you guys because we love you guys right daddy right this is done okay you're gonna throw the water off how do you know when it's done though? You're falling apart. Oh. And then time it. And when is it 10 to 15 minutes? Okay, so you can really stick by that time. Yeah. So So I can run cold water in it now. Okay. Just to cool it down. Run cold water in it to cool it down. Then I will have the advantage to break it down. Because it won't be piping hot. No, anymore. it won't be hot anymore. Okay. I'll try to take it out. As much bone as I can. Oh, get out of yeah, there's bone in this. Yes, that's a bone. So, so you gotta be boned? Yes. Midnight not, train. Not all of it, you want. Okay. But just because of you guys, I'm oh, doing yeah, it. Oh, you're so cute. So people just leave it, but you take it out for us? Yes. I'm yes. so spoiled. We're I mean, in Jamaica, we just eat it just like that. You, you just have to eat wisely. You don't swallow bone. No, sir. You have to take out the bone. <laughs> I will. Mm -mm. No, sir. Okay. I'm going to let this sit here. Okay. So you just let it sit? Cool down. Oh, cool it's cooling down. down. Okay. All right. So what's so next? I'm starting my coconut. Okay. I'm going to go on the other side of you, Daddy. Do you really use to break it? I don't want to waste my water. Not much in it anyway. Okay. It's a little bit fresh, but it's okay. That's good. Interesting. Okay. Some so of it is very, very sweet. You say, oh man, you drink this, you don't want to stop. Interesting. Oh yeah. I feel like I never get a coconut water that is like, unless it's artificially sweetened. It's good. I mean, I don't know if I'd advise anyone to do this at home. <laughs> Why not? Children, don't no, do this no. at home. Please kill for it. <laughs> yeah, no, sir. You do not. Mm -mm. That is just being a Jamaican. And we seem to be careless in these things. Hardcore uh, Jamaican. <laughs> Alright. I'm just peaceful and loving right now. Of course. Right You're about. always peaceful and loving. Let me put it right here. Yeah, you want right. it. You want it. It's a piece there, Tiki. No, I'm not going to take your coconut. <laughs> oh, you don't feel like coconut this, well, this time? Yeah. Hopefully they haven't been hearing me chomp my mouth because I have gum in my mouth and I just remembered that I had You guys love me. <laughs> I think. <laughs> they do. Yeah. I think they do too. Right, Daddy? Right. The love is great. The love is wonderful. I think the love is love, mutual love, love over is here. God. God is love. God is love. You know that? You are nothing. Amen. You hear me, people? So, Daddy, this whole time you've been pulling apart the coconut from what seems to be like a wooden shell. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. And then 
how that goes in the trash. Now I'm cooking, cutting up my coconut in cubes. Then you can go into the blender. Okay. I want to say that I would have known to do that and that I wouldn't have just thrown everything into the blender at that size. No. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course, Sasha, you would have definitely cut it You're up. You're breaking up your blender like that. So for people who don't want to butcher and cut up their own coconut, what is another option for them? Buy the canned one. The canned one is good? Yeah. So what would they get? Have, coconut have, milk? Yes. And coconut cream also. We have different. So, and they are, you have the dry coconut. It come in package. But you guys would use the can? Yeah. Okay. And what would you use? Like a whole can? Yeah, it depends on what you're cooking. Oh, okay. How much you're cooking for? How much portion? Okay. You're cooking. It's kind of satisfying. Yeah. I know there's a lot of people who really like. We'll watch the whole video. Well, I guess <laughs> that's our subscribers. <laughs> many of you guys, because so many of you guys in the comments are always like, oh, like it's so therapeutic. Like you'll watch episodes of food that you don't even eat, but you'll just watch it because the chopping and everything is so therapeutic. So I just walked myself right into that. <laughs> Very interested. Huh? interesting. Okay. okay. What's next, Eddie? Blender. Blender. We have to blend it down. Oh, there we are. Capturing the washing of the pool again. Oh no, but you need water, that's what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you want to cover the coconut. Okay, so the water has to cover the coconut. Okay, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. I'm with so you. you want it. Milk. We've seen this before. You guys remember, right, fam? You guys remember. Looks 
strainer. So, gonna end up straining this bad boy. But it's tempting because like I love coconut and I love coconut milk. Mm. <sighs> I kinda like the little gritty pieces in it. Button that you can't find the strainer. Bigger one. Mommy get me a bigger one. Oh, look at you. Look at brand new. Brand new. Good for you. <laughs> All of mercy. Oh my gosh. You are gonna a lot of mercy them. Yeah. Like <laughs> look at these people. Isn't that wonderful? It is wonderful. Look at that, people. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Wow. One more time. Okay. That's so that's the first batch of milk, you guys. First batch of milk. And then we're gonna do squeeze it one more time. Interesting. Every time I see it, it's still interesting to me. It's just like labored cookie to me. Like I feel like. There's so many people who don't know. This is the cookies. Goodies. This is the goodies. Like you're handing it. You're footing it. Me eyeing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You did the thing, that You did it. Our coconut milk people, homemade, homemade. Daddy, why are you always wilding out on them? Homemade what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said wilding out on them. Why are you always doing the most? Why are you always killing them? With love, obviously. That's what they need to do. <laughs> AKA, shut up. This. Turn my fire on. Okay, so you just turned your fire on. Okay, relax. Okay. Get some oil. A little bit of oil. Guys, no. Good old Dutchie. Guys, let's name this Dutch pot. You guys get to help us name this Dutch pot because obviously this is a staple in our house. And it has made probably 90% of the meals that you guys have on Daddy's Kitchen channel. So obviously it needs a name. Okay, so what what are we gonna what are we gonna name this pot? Put it down in the comments. <laughs> Alright. Yes, baby. I want you guys to name it, not me. <laughs> Alright. Is it hot? And it's on max, Daddy? Yeah, right now. Okay. It's on max, you guys. On high. When I put my garnish in. Mm -hmm. And when you say garnish, you mean your veg. Yes, I'm going to turn it down to medium. Okay, so once it goes in, that's when you're going to put it on medium. Yeah. Okay. But you don't want it to burn. No, no. Can't have burnt veggies. Okay. But daddy, you pull apart the, 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 the fish yet? No, it's not ready, yeah? It's not ready for going there, man. Remember, the coconut have to go in there and you're gonna cook down a little. Oh. You've got to let that coconut cook. Interesting. Because you don't want to put everything in. Your belly will run you. It will run your belly. Oh, is that why it's called rundown? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, my is this? God. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else?
say cook down what do you mean by that you gotta cook them right down you get thick okay then you had your fish your fish to it okay so it's yeah. on medium and it it's just sits medium. there kind yeah. of just simmering until it gets thicker it's right now. It's medium right now. Yeah. okay okay See my dog. See my dog. All right, Daddy. So you just washed some dishes. It took you about four minutes. We're checking back up on the. Okay, I turn it back up to high. Let it start to boil up now. Okay. Okay. So yeah. you turn it back up. Yeah. Because you wanted it to boil up a little more. Yeah. Guys, I took a spoon off camera and just tasted the broth with the coconut milk. You know what it is when you have to kiss your teeth. When you don't even have the words, all you can do is just kiss your teeth. Look at that. It's starting to get thick already. It's already thick. But it tastes so good. It's getting thick. It's about to be thicker than a snicker. Mm, I'm gonna cook like right, me. Cook mm -hmm. right down. <laughs> right down and then have my, my fish. And then let it simmer in it. Question. Yes. Approximately how long regularly well, would this take? Get this, at least 25 minutes to cook down. So like on any given day, this yes. is like a 25 minute to half an hour meal, yes. you're saying? Yes. Okay. When we cook down, 25 minutes, fine. Mm -hmm. I just add my fish to it. Okay. And that's, then I let it cook for about 5 to 10 minutes and it's finished. And then it's finished. Yes. Okay. Pouring off the water. Okay. Finally pouring off that cold water we put in. And this is the head and the only that. Okay. Throwing the head out. That was some really people, scary. Some, I didn't even look at it. Some people eat, eat it, but I don't want it. Okay. 
So this is the deboning process, correct? Yes. Daddy, can we go over here? Because I think I have better lighting over here. Go over to your chef area, right there. Yeah, man, better over here. You can get a better angle of what you're doing, you know? Better over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're literally going in there and just feeling those bones and pulling them out. Yes, because I don't want you guys to choke on these bones. Okay, and then you just put it in there. So there's no way that you can buy this without the bone? No. Wow. Not turning them off. This is the right one. Come with the bones. Labor of love. No. What are you still in morning about? <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I'm just, you know, thinking about it. Some people don't even want to mash two pan to feed the people they love. And look at you, deboning. <sighs> I appreciate you, Daddy. Love you and appreciate you. It's great. That's great. It's great. It's wonderful. Awesome. You're awesome. You are awesome. Alright. We are awesome. And our father. Is the most awesome? Yep. I agree. It's where we get our awesomeness from. Yes. All the time. They never leave us. Now forsake us. And you just do that for the duration of this fish. Pop off the leg them so I mean the fish. With one leg. Le <laughs> <laughs> if you still have leg, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny girl. I mean <laughs> pop off the um the fin, the yeah. um the tail. Mm -hmm. Finn? <laughs> you look like a little mermaid to me. Gotta take off head, gotta take off foot. No bones and all that? Right here. Oh. I, might, I just take out the, the main bone. Oh, let me see. Oh, because you took out the main bone, you knew that this area didn't really have much, right? That's how you knew? Yep. Okay. I guess so you have to learn the body of the fish, you guys. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to tell you that. Yeah, we're going to cut up, catch up on some, some of the bones. Which is okay. Yeah, Nothing like if really. a one, two bone is still in there, then... Okay, someone still stood over there and took out the majority. Because mm -hmm. this is quite bony. There's a lot of bones. Mm -hmm. All right, I think they, I think they get it, Daddy. Yeah. This is it, you guys. This is how you debone your macro. The salt mackerel. Yo, when this touches the coconut milk, and you do this the same way with the saltfish, the bone salt, saltfish with the bone. I use the boneless saltfish. That's why you don't see me pick anything. Okay, so you when... have the saltfish that have the bones. You just pick it up, pick the sum out. You know, get it all. But as much as you can. Yeah. Okay. So. All the bones. Look at that. Wow. Okay, mm -hmm. totally different texture, totally different consistency. Okay, all right. And the macro. 
You know how I knew that it was gonna be so flipping good? When I tasted just the coconut milk, the seasoning and the peppers and onions and stuff. When I realized that I could literally just drink that as like a soup. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I knew. Okay, so some flavor rice is going in there. You see that here, guys? You see that here? Okay. And in, in flavor rice is all vegetables, right, Daddy? Yes. All vegetables. And that's all purpose. She just added not too much, just a couple dashes. Little black pepper. Not too much, just a couple dashes. That's it. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. You get this with your green banana? Oh Lord of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, and your dumpling. Look at that. Look at that. I give this two minutes. Two minutes max, and it's done. It don't matter. You don't want it no more than that. You, you need to have liquid in it. See, that's the color. That's why you call it random. Oh, then, you have to have the liquid in yes, there. Yes, you mash up your, your soft green banana in this. Woo! <laughs> I just can't wait until it goes over my dumpling. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm ready for. We're all the vegetarians and pescatarians in the house. I feel like they're feeling amazing right now. Yes. Because it's actually much more um, easy. It's much easier than I thought, right? Yes. Other than the fact that you just crack your own coconut, cut yeah, it up yeah. and all that kind of stuff. There's nothing hard in cooking. There's easier your mindset. Okay, Daddy. Okay, okay, yeah. I feel you. I mean, a lot of us would beg to differ. Um, but I feel you. I yeah. feel you. Yes. I feel like, you know, if you just sub out the real coconut for coconut milk, this is something that could be really easily done. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay, and I feel like most people use coconut milk. You are just special. That's why you did. I mean, not most people. I'm not going to say that because... Jamaicans obviously use fresh coconuts and, and they cut it up, but yeah. a lot of people who are not, say, still in Jamaica and whatnot, we use the can and blah, 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 blah. We use to grate the coconut, not really? blend it. Oh. Much more harder, but it's okay. Okay. It's all good. All right. Oh, look the banana. Look how the banana pretty. The banana does turn up. Up and they don't blend them. Look on the sweet potato. Oh, I look on the random. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you joining me right now is funny. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. We have tell you. Oh no, lucky. Oh no, lucky if it's true. Look on them. Whoa. Oh, daddy, are your plate your share right now? Boy. Mm hmm. Peace and love always.